Hello everybody, welcome to the quick setup guide here, the tutorial on the Deforum notebook, which is going to be the notebook that we are going to use to use Stable Diffusion. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up here, but the very first thing we need to do is you need to go to the Hugging Face board, and I have a link down there below. And then you're going to need to download this file here, which is called sd-v1-4.ckpt, and this is the this file is about four gigs, so this is going to be the longest part here is uploading this file. So it's going to take a little while. So what we're going to do is we're going to first upload or open up the AI folder here, and we're going to go ahead and make a folder under that called models. Okay, now for this section, you might need to also make the AI folder if you don't have it, but I'm here um, correcting a mistake my idiot past self did, so I used my briefcase, came back here in time to fix this. So when you make this models folder, make it with a lowercase m, not an uppercase m like I did there, and you will see why later. And we're going to go ahead and take this file that we downloaded from Hugging Face, this 4 gigabyte file, and we're going to just drag it over here and put it into this directory here. And this is going to take a while. You see mine, it's going to take two hours, one hour. It's going to take a little while, so I'll come back after this is uploaded. So when you do this, go ahead and leave this window open too, because it will stop the upload if you exit the window. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this, and I'll come back and check when it's finished uploading. Okay, and about two hours later, it looks like it is just about finished uploading. So this will be a fresh run for me too on this account. So this is going to look exactly like yours should after you've set up your... Google Colab account and you get this uploaded. I've already got the notebook installed here, the deform, so I'm going to run it just as soon as this is done here. Okay, our upload is done. It is showtime. So now that this upload is done, and again I put that under AI models, and there it is, the SDV14. Now I'm going to go ahead and open my copy here of the notebook. Now, the other thing, too, I do when I um, get a new notebook, I'll always save an extra copy of it, and then I'll keep one of them that I have never used. This is just basically the exact way that I got it when I downloaded it. So there's that. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that uh, copy of the copy. Actually, I'll keep the copy. So the copy of copy will be the one we use. So this is exactly how the notebook looks when it is brand new. And all we've done is upload that file. So I'm going to go ahead and start running everything here first. Let me go ahead and minimize these first just to kind of show you. So under each of these arrows, there's a whole lot of different sections that we run. And always, anytime you're running a Google Colab notebook, you usually want to start from the top down. And you can just run these, but I usually don't do that. I'll usually open them up to see what everything is. And it's a good idea to kind of get used to that. So I'm going to go ahead and run it from the top here. Okay, that's so we got the T4 here. Again, this is the free account, so I'm going to be using just like you would. And this can vary a little bit. Um, I'm really not sure. If, I think you might be able to get the P100 on the free. I'm not sure about that. But this is basically the GPU, the processor you're assigned. And that's really the main difference between the pro and the free accounts is you get better computers, better processes to, processors to access when you have the pro or the pro plus. And you can also run it when you're offline. It won't, it won't time you out and stuff like that. And so I'm just going to go ahead and go down the list here and keep everything right now. When it gets to this section, Mount Google Drive, this is when you'll have to confirm that you want it to connect to your Google Drive. And then that's going to save all your files there. And this is that file we downloaded. And this might take a while. This will take a little while to run on some of these. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll just come back when this is all done loading here. Okay, and this is all loaded up. And then this pop-up will come up say, connect to your Google Drive. Okay, and you just hit allow. Okay, and that's running. Then we're going to the next section here. Just hit run again. Okay, so I did get an error here in this part. So let me show you what happened here. I'm going to go back to my directory. So it actually created another directory under AI models with the lowercase m. So no problem, all I'm gonna do is go here and move this to, so that's okay, no problem. I'm just gonna go over here and move this over here now. 
Okay, and so it created a new directory, so you could start off, I guess, just with um, that lowercase directory. Let's go ahead and run it again. Okay, there it goes. So it might just take a couple times. So when we created that directory before, I should have made it with a lowercase m, apparently. Okay, no problem. And I'll go ahead and edit that when I do when I do the editing here. It'll be like it never happened. So that's really, that's the hard part there. You're going to spend, um, hopefully not as long as me. It took me a couple hours to upload that file. It's about four gigs. But my internet, it has good download speed, but really bad upload speed. And I think they throttle you a bit, too, if you're using the free account as far as your upload speed, download speed, that kind of thing. But once you have the model loaded, so go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and wipe this directory that I created that says models with the uppercase. And now I have my model in the correct place here with the lowercase m. And I'm going to go ahead just and stop it here, and I will come back when this is done loading everything. We are just about ready to start using this, and this one here, we just hit run. Now here we can get to where we can actually change something. So far we haven't changed anything yet. We've just put that model in there. I'm going to go ahead, and I'll go ahead and leave this uh, batch directory at test. That's fine. And I'm going to change this here, the width. This is the width and height. This is the resolution of your image. I'm just going to change that to 512 height as well as width so it'll be 512 by 512 and number of batches two we'll go ahead and leave that now these are your prompts and you can go ahead and leave this well i'll go ahead and run one with this let's see what's it doing too okay that's fine do 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 do, do. waiting for it to load still here This is actually going to be the first time I've run this on the free account, so it'll be nice to kind of see what the, what the challenges are with this one. I don't think there will be. With this notebook, this seemed to run really good. It seemed to use a lot less memory than the initial notebook I was using. And we should be just about ready to go here. Okay, looks like it. Oh, it's downloaded some more stuff. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. I will. Okay, it's just about done. I'll go ahead and pause it and check back when all this stuff is done downloading, which looks like it shouldn't take too long here. Take long at all. That just took a couple of minutes here. Downloading is a lot faster. One minute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now. And like I said, I just changed this 512 to 512. And everything else is the same as the default. I'll go ahead and run this and it should show us a couple of images here from the default prompt. There we hit run. Let's hit the hit run here on the prompt. And it's a beautiful forest. Flash of brown around, trending on art station. And there we go. And it's going to take 80 steps right now to render. And um, I'm going to do another video right after this that's going to go over all of these settings. I'm going to do a test later, but I'm going to do it on my Google Pro account just so I can render faster and everything. But we'll do a couple prompts here after this. And there we go. We are now making stable diffusion beautiful stable diffusion images here and they are getting saved into test directory here so if you go back to your google drive and you open up stable diffusion there's the date you can open up this test directory and there is your files which you can freely download and beautiful beautiful gorgeous images there and let's go ahead oh and it did actually do two here i see So it just renders one after the other when you do it like that. Okay, that's something I didn't do when I first tried it. Interesting. Okay. So because there's a number here on this third prompt, it's not going to run that. So it's going to run uh, four images here. It's going to run two of the forest and then the second one. So I actually didn't know that. So that's something I just learned just now that it... Um, It'll just render. You can put it another prompt down below and it'll render that. Okay. So there we go. We are up and running and you can just replace these. You can actually just replace both of them and it'll just run one image. So just to show you that and just also to show you how easy it is to make prompts, you know, you can get really complicated and cool prompts, but with stable diffusion, it doesn't really need to be that complicated. You can just, I'm going to have my prompt is art. 
That's it. One word. We're going to run some art here and see what it does. And it's really quick. And if you notice, too, I'm on my free account, and this is rendering here in less than a minute. You know, this is actually a bit faster than I get even on my Pro Plus account on Disco Diffusion. It's doing 3.4 iterations a second. That's pretty good. And there we go. Look at that. You are now an AI artist. You have made art. Our prompt is art. That's art. There's some art. Okay. And I will, hopefully, this will get you up and running. And I'm going to go ahead and continue now on my pro account. I'm going to go ahead and go over some of these settings here and we'll just do some tests on everything and see if we can figure some of this stuff out together. And there we go. There's two images of art. Thank you for watching. I hope this gets you up and running. And if you notice, I answer a lot of questions in the comments. If you are having some issues, I will do my best to help you. Thank you for watching and you have a great day. Go create some art.